This is how you can make an advanced server badge count command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and gain in the video so we can start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create server badges.js and here we can get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder because we're going to be using that and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get discord.js then we can do module.exports so we can do equals we're going to open this up we can get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can then go ahead and set a name which is going to be server badges and we can go ahead and set a discord description and this is going to be get the total number of users with each profile badge and then we can do comma async executes we can get our interaction and we can get our clients and then we can go ahead and open this up and here we can start by doing let badges equals and we will do an empty array and then we can also do let counts equals and we're going to get an empty object next we're going to go ahead and import all of our badges as variables so we can use them in the embed so i'm actually going to go ahead and copy this part in because uh, uh, I do not want to type all of this out and it's very specific to my server, but I am going to show you how you can actually get all 15 of these badges in your own server so that you can get them as emojis and input them into this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and join the server in the description below here. And you're going to want to go over to resources. And then once you're here, all you have to do is click on the packages button right here. And then as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give you the badge package right here. And so you can go ahead and click on that. It will bring you to a Mediafire link. Then what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and download this zip right here. So it's going to go ahead and say your download is starting. And then it's going to go ahead and download it on my computer. So I can actually go ahead and open this up. And as you can see here, it has all of the badges uh, as PNG files and they're named and all of that stuff. So then what we can go ahead and do is you can export all of these files into a folder that is not a zip. And then you can upload them as emojis to your server. You can also do the ASCII command. So add emoji and you can upload the files that way. So then once you have them in your server, you can go ahead and choose the badge. So let's just go ahead and say I do this one and we're getting the early supporter badge. So then right in front of it, we can add a backslash like that and we can go ahead and send it. And then you will be able to get the ID. So this is the ID that I can have. And then if we go back into the code, as you can see here, this is where you're gonna put the ID. So if we were getting the early supporter, I'm gonna go ahead and input that into there. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and create variables for staff, partner, moderator, hype squad, bravery, brilliance, balance, bug hunter one and two, active developer, verified developer, early supporter, and and verified bot and you're going to want to go ahead and put the corresponding emoji id in as a string so once you've done all of that i know that's kind of a lot to follow but once you've done it all we can go ahead and move on so we can go ahead and do four and we can do const member of interaction dot guild dot members and then we can do dot cash and we can do dot values and we can go ahead and open this for loop up and here we can do const user equals awaits client dot users dot fetch we can get our member.user.id. Then we can do badges equals badges.concat. And we can get user.flags. And we can do a question mark. And then we can do dot two array. So we're going to go ahead and put the badges to an array. And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to the badges. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and create another for loop. So we can do four and we can do const badge of badges. And go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to do if. And we can do counts. And we can go ahead and get our badge. We can go ahead and open this up. Then we can do counts. And we can go ahead and get badge. And we can do plus plus our plus plus operator right there and then we can say else and we can do counts and we're going to get our badge and then we can do equals one just like that so then after doing that we can go ahead and make our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color for me this is going to be blurple because it looks pretty good and we can go ahead and set a title and in here we can go ahead and say badges we can do a dash and we can get our interaction dot guild dot name so it's going to say badges for your server basically we can go ahead and set a description we're going to go ahead and start by inputting all of our badges in here so we can go ahead and get our staff so this is going to be our staff badge which is a variable 
and then we can bold this and we can go ahead and open up our accounts and then we can go ahead and get our staff so we're going to go ahead and check for the staff and it's going to go ahead and count to see how many people in the server have that and then we can do or and we're going to go ahead and get zero we can finish that bolding and then right outside of that we can do backslash n so then what we can actually go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and copy this because we're pretty much going to be using the exact same format for everything else so we can go ahead and paste it we're going to change this from staff to partner we can get that partner emoji and then here we can go ahead and get partner and then we can go ahead and do this again so we're going to go ahead and paste it this time we're going to go ahead and get our moderator variable and then in here we can go ahead and get certified moderator we can go ahead and paste it here we can go ahead and get our bug hunter one the first bug hunter and then we can do bug hunter and we can go ahead and get level one just like that and then we can go ahead and paste it again and instead of that we can go ahead and replace this with hype squad so we can do hype squad and then in here we can go ahead and get our hype squad just like that so then we can go ahead and do this again so we can go ahead and get our active developer here so you can get active developer and in here we can go ahead and do active developer now one other thing here is right after the bug hunter level one so right in between here what we can go ahead and do is we can paste it and at this time we're going to go ahead and get bug hunter 2 and then in here we can go ahead and do bug hunter level 2 just like that uh, and then we can go ahead and remove the extra n from there that way we have them in order just like that but then right here uh, we're going to go ahead and replace staff and it's going to be right after active developers so we can go ahead and do verified developer and then in here we can go ahead and do verified developer so we can go ahead and paste it again and we can go ahead and get early supporter and then in here we can go ahead and get our premium early supporter and then we can go ahead and paste it again and we can go ahead and get our balance so we can do balance and then in here we're going to go ahead and get hype squad online house three just like that now it is very important that you spell this correctly and make sure you have the cap capital letters correctly as well because otherwise it's not going to work so then we can go ahead and paste it again and this time we're actually going to go ahead and get brilliance so we can do brilliance and then this one is going to be hype squad online house two and we can go ahead and come out here we're going to go ahead and paste it again this one is going to be bravery and then we can do hype squad online house one then finally the last one we're going to do is verified bots so we can do verified bots and then in here we can go ahead and do verified bot so that's going to go ahead and finish off um, all of the badges we need to get so then what we can go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add a footer so we can do set footer and we can do text and we can go ahead and input our interaction dot guild and we can do member count so interaction .guild member count and we can go ahead and say members uh, within the string so we can do members just like that so that completes our embeds now we can actually go ahead and send that but before we do i'm going to go ahead and defer reply here so we can do await interaction .defer reply and we can go ahead and set informal on this message to true or on that defer and then down here we can go ahead and send that so we can do await interaction .edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed as well now we do not have to set it to infernal because the defer is already on infernal so that we are actually done with this entire command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can actually test this out but before we do i'm going to go ahead and send the same command with esky so that you can see what to expect and you can see that there's a slight difference so as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give me the badges command, and it's going to go ahead and give me the exact numbers of people in the server with that badge. So then we can go ahead and actually send it with tutorial bot this time here. And as you can see, it's going to be the same, but it's going to look a little bit different in terms of the numbers. Now, the reason for this is simply because that the tutorial bot does not have the presence intent enabled, and I believe it needs the presence intent to register the flags of other members other than the person using the command and the bot itself. So what you can actually go ahead and do is you can enable the presence intent if it doesn't give you an accurate number, and that should fix it. So tutorial bot has been approved for the presence intent because it is verified. As you can see, it can view your presences. So we can go back in here and we can go ahead and try it again. I did just define it, so it should work this time. If we go ahead and run that command, as you can see here this time, it's going to give me an accurate count. So it's going to say seven people with that badge, and it's going to give me that accurate count. If I go ahead and dismiss this message, as you can see, it's going to give me the exact same number as the one with ASCII. So it is working. Uh, you just have to enable the proper intents for this to work. So what we can go ahead and do is we can actually test this out in a different server, a bigger server that actually has a lot of people with different badges here. So we can go ahead and just run it in this channel because it's informal anyways. So we can do server badges and we can go ahead and send it. It's going to go ahead and think and it's going to give me a ton of numbers. So I have zero staff member in the server, but there are five partners, three moderators or three official moderators, and then zero bug hunters, three people with the hype squad badge. 
and then there's a ton of people with active developer 11 verified bot developers and you get the point so there's a ton of people um with each badge but it's actually going to give you a very specific number uh for each members now one thing that you could do and i will make a video on this in the future is you could do slash badges check and you can actually go ahead and check the popular badges here like i said i will probably make a video on this in the future but we can go ahead and just start with let's say the verified bot developer because my bot told me that there are 11 members with the verified bot developer and here's all those members in the server so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so as you can see that is an accurate number and it's going to be accurate for all of these so that's you can make an advanced server badges number check for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video.